Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with a building thing. I'm back to doing fun stuff. And today I've got two little figures. Let's open them up and find out what they are. Let's see, comes with a little card that's all bent up and warped and that's okay because these are definitely knockoffs. I definitely did not buy the real thing and I have never actually seen these as a real thing, so yeah. That is a lot more pieces than I was expecting. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Knock off Darth Vader. It's kind of weird. These have been in the package for so long that uh, some of the dye used in this has leached out into some of the other pieces. It's like an Iron Man head. Weird. Check that out. You know, out of all the knockoffs I've tried, this one is definitely the most difficult to put together. All right, first problem with a knockoff. These little guys, they don't fit in there. I'm actually gonna have to put some glue on it. Since I've never taken this thing apart, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna get some glue. All right, about 20 minutes, this stuff should glue on just fine. Oh, that's, that's adorable. And now for the big silly helmet. Alright, not bad. Five minute build. Just had a little bit of glue that we needed. I will uh, actually take this helmet off for now and get the cape put on. I need some glue on this part too. trick you've probably seen from some other folks. Gonna wrap a little bit of uh, tape around these pliers. Make them safe. Weird wonky Vader is finished. I will uh, give him a chance to dry, then I'll open up his cape. Let's put together his uh, saber. Lightsaber does not stay in the lightsaber part. <laughs> More glue. The reason for that is this is one of those cross shaped pegs, and this is a circle. Yeah. Glue's gonna do its job. Set him off to the side and start on the next character. He actually looks pretty cool. I kinda like it. What do you think? I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, I like it. That's nice. So we got this guy. Wow. I thought Vader had a lot of extra pieces. This is wild. The head actually looks pretty cool. Very, very cheap plastic and uh, it's powdery. It's coming off on my hands. I hope I don't die. How bizarre. Okay, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this on camera, but they've given us uh, a complete set of extra parts here. The thing is, 
Some of them are kind of a yellowy gold, and some of them are a much darker gold. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm not going to be using the uh, tarnished colored ones, because that totally shattered just trying to put it on. Whew. Was not expecting that. <laughs> it's the only other foot I've got. That was close. He almost shattered. a hand. <laughs> uh. All right, well, my other camera cut out, so I'm just going to talk on this one for now. This guy was a challenge. The uh, darker plastic here is very brittle. I now know why they included all of the other parts, because these darker ones that originally packed with it are just the cheapest material you can find. The other pieces, they snapped on just fine and they worked great. Yeah, he only came with one head. I was really concerned I was gonna break this guy. And I did hear a little bit of snap, crackle, and pop as I went through. That's okay, he's gonna sit on my shelf. Uh, I might actually have to repaint this guy because he looks pretty weird with this, uh, I don't know, burnt gold head and this bright yellow body. What do you guys think? All right, there you go. Cheap knockoff Legos of Darth Vader and C-3PO. I've got Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper coming up. Yeah, look forward to it. <sighs> Done with these. Bye, guys. <laughs>